Hey everybody, welcome back to Nier. Alright, so, we are in the Forest of Myth. Or as I'd probably call it, just the Word Zone. Because I really don't want to have to go through none of those reading sections, but, you know, if I have to, then I have to. But, I know just for me, it just, it just wears me out uh, really quickly. Oh, hello. Hi there. How are things? Huh? You want to know if anything unusual is happening? Well, I have been feeling rather strange presence whenever I visit the Divine Tree. The Divine Tree? Yes, it's a legendary tree that exists in the heart of our village. Did you investigate the cause of this presence? Uh, not really, no. And why not? Well, we're not, we're not really supposed to go near the tree except for prayer. And why is that? I don't know, alright? It's not, it's just how things have always been. Weird. So... I like how they call this place a village and there's like three houses. So there's something at the tree here. We are the grass, we are the trees, we are the woods. Why do you seem to encounter to encounter nothing but odd people lately? We should talk, Weiss. Pa, as if Grimmer or Weiss is capable of spouting such nonsense. Hey, on, I don't think he's done. The dark form that governs old memories. May the words form themselves to your liking. That would be nice. No! <laughs> I was afraid of this. <laughs> All right, let's just let's just continue. Black, pure darkness, pained over everything. Words scattered here and there across the blackness. Kind words, difficult words. Um, amorous words, all sparkling in the dark light jewels. The words were few, the words were few now, but time was shorter. Grabbing the words in desperation, the tree turned to the sky. This is Ron, whispered the tree in the voice of wind through the leaves. This is not how it's supposed to be. The plan has failed. Once long ago, the tree, the tree had remembered everything about the world. This was its task, its purpose. It shivered with something approaching joy as it collected the memories of mankind. This was no accident. Emotions were as much part of the tree as root and bark. Memories collected like dew on the thick green leaves of the tree, and once they had formed a web that spanned the, the entire world, words collapsed into sunlight before passing through the leaves and into the pool of memory. From the pool, the words joined together to form colonies, and colonies united into whirlpools of light, and the light concealed, uh, light coalesced, Co coalesced? Whatever. Eh, whatever. Into stars. Each star was like a child tree and it loved them all. Look at my memory. Uh, a child is here, brought by, brought by low disease. He is far too young to have suffered so. Thin beyond words, the boy's skin is a shade paler than the bleached hospital sheets upon which he lies. His parents no longer visit him, for they cannot bear to watch him suffer. The doctors have long since surrendered his fate to the gods. The boy, too, has abandoned hope. Strange emotions, weariness, hatred, swell within the dark, dark recesses of his young heart. He tries to reject the black t terror that, ger that germinates in his body, but no amount of effort or tears can drive the invader away. He has long ceased to, re to resent his parents and doctors. Once he did, but now his pain is so great that there is little room in his heart to think of others. Only one person brings the boy comfort, a healthy young girl with tan skin and dark brown eyes. She's a beacon of brightness and light in the boy's world. Her very presence is, comf is a comfort to him, but he is unable to look upon her face. Whenever they meet, the boy is filled with loathing for his own state. 
Soon, this loathing eats away at what joy he receives from the girl's visits. The girl will stop coming. He knows this. His every waking moment is spent in fear of this day. He thinks that if he could talk to her, if he could tell her of his feelings, that this might not be so, but this conversation never happens. The girl disappears. The boy dies alone. The tree scoops up his memory and carefully stores it within itself. Etched upon it is a single word, envy. Look at my memory. There is a female warrior. Her greatest enemy is the beast with red eyes that she cannot fully comprehend. When she strikes it with her sword, it turns into a pillar of salt and dies. But when the white smoke clears, a new enemy rises, and another, and another. The warrior knows that her struggle is folly, but fighting the unending stream of enemies fills, with, fills her with a sense of joy and purpose. Somewhere deep in the warrior's drug-addled mind lies a vague memory of a daughter. Perhaps a child exists only in her head, the dying remnants of a powerful dream she does not know. Her friends and fellow warriors come and, come and go. Some flee in terror, some are eaten. She began the fight with 23 companions, but are now go are gone now. The warrior's body shudders, and she does not understand why at first. By the time she hears the fierce low sound, the arena is already enclosed in darkness. Looking up, the warrior sees a beast so large that it that it blots out the sky. She is laughing. She has been doing so. F she's been doing so for as long as she can remember. Covered in blood and dirt, the warrior laughs. She laughs and laughs until the town that contains her daughter collapses into a pile of dust. This memory has been stored for a long time. It is actually a single word: loss. Look at my memory. A red dragon falls from the heavens. Ah, uh, the memory that ha that has been lost. A shame. It was a favorite of mine. After many centuries of existence, the tree saw that its careful labeled memories were beginning to dwindle. Since seemingly infinite, the memories now seemed ready to disappear forever. The tree did not feel sadness at this. Grief was an emotion beyond its comprehension. It did not, however, have the distant, the distant feeling that something was missing. The mountain of memories it had so carefully assembled had disappeared. The tree stretched its branches as far as it could, but new memories refused to flow. The pool of memories was black, empty pit, a hollow place where life had once flourished. The tree had lost its purpose. There was nothing to be done but sift through the few remaining memories littering the ground under its branches. This is why the tree was pleased when the man and his companion entered the room. Well, this place is gloomy as hell. The room Ashilas had entered had almost completely empty. Was almost completely empty. All he could see were a few crystals scattered haphazardly on the ground. Picking up one of the crystals and peering into it, Ashilas suddenly saw a familiar sight. It was a forest it was the forest of myth, its villagers prisoners of their own dreams. I apologize, the tree thought, that is all that remains. As Ashila stared at the jewel, be bewildered, a voice suddenly called out from the depths of his mind. The voice implored them to listen. It was an order, fallen, it was mandatory. Abruptly, the pair realized that they must listen. They must listen. Look. A small shadowy presence appeared from beneath the floor. It looked to be a shade. The shade grasped several jewels in his hand. More jewels tumbled out of its mouth like shards of broken teeth. Sights and sounds tinkling from each one before vanishing forever. The creature was abusing the memories, treating the precious objects like a collection of cheap playroom toys. This shade appears to be consuming the memories. That little thing? It's barely worth my time to kill. The tree extended a branch towards Ashilas. Without a second thought, Ashilas brought his blade down in the shade, tearing its stomach wide. Jewels burst from the shade and poured across the chamber floor. Look, thought the tree, there's the conviction memory I had lost, and satisfaction, and many others as well. Yes, this is good. 
The tree opened its mouth and, and attempted to speak, but no sound emerged. A millennium of silence and solitude had caused the tree to forget certain things, but rather than be upset, it greeted the developments with good cheer. Focusing all its power on the riddle of speech, the tree formed a kind and makeshift vocal cord and tried again. Um, <clears throat> I implore. It spat out a glimmering green jewel. Hmm, one more time. I implore you. There you are. What was the color of the lost envy? The lost envy was green. If I'm right. No, it wasn't. Uh. Well, at what point in the beginning did, was there even a color? I'm sorry if I don't remember, but I don't remember ever listening to a color. The only color was red that I remember from the beginning. And it has to go through all this all over again. Great. <laughs> That's the thing, I don't remember there really being a color. What was the and what was the end what was the color of the envy? Well let me get over to the Let me let me just try to skip all this quickly. And because I should remember most of it. I actually, I'm very surprised. <laughs> I'm very surprised that they will send you all the way back to the beginning if you did if you did this wrong. Okay, envy was. Uh. Are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me right now? Okay, so I could be wrong about this. And again, I am sorry, but I could be completely wrong about this. But by just narrowing it down, it could be that the answer is the only other option I have to choose. Correct? It changes the answer every time? Uh Okay, I I really don't like this one bit. Not one bit. It's like, okay, so they'll change the color every single time. But I don't remember them even telling me a color. Besides that there was like red eyes for an enemy. There was brown hair or brown eyes for the girl. Okay, I completely and utterly guessed. Anyways, it spoke. This shade has intelligence. and emotion? Who cares? A shadow's brush wipes his comet aside as a sword sliced through the shade's right arm. The shade ex extended its remaining arm to a shyless. I must, must touch him. I must make contact. The moment its finger brushed against a shyless, the tree felt a warm sensation begin to burn. Something hot coursed through its fingers up its arm and out its entire body. It was emotion, more than more than the entity had felt in, centu in centuries. The tree cried out in surprise and joy. One thousand years alone, one thousand years in quiet con contemplation, the tree felt like it was going to break apart. For long centuries, the tree had been alone, its heart sealed with heavy chains, but no more. New powerful emotions had begun to take Cold, causing its heart to lighten. This is more than simple than the simple emotions it had been designed to feel. It begins of, of a begins of a soul, and the man was the key. This was the promise made long ago. This was this was how it would be released. The tree stomach began to throb in pain, a new and unpleasant sensation. But the time was not yet right. I implore you, how many were lost in the by the warrior? Who have fought the red-eyed beasts? Beast. Twenty-three. Okay, <laughs> so it kept that one, but the color keeps changing. I I don't know. I honestly I I don't know. 
Okay, riddle time is over. I'm gonna kill this stupid shade once and for all. Please do! Something round and shiny fell from the open stomach and clattered to the floor. The key, shouted the book. Grab the key! The man's sword, the man's sword slowed. Time begun to dilate around them, stretching and slowing. Time is essential. Next word must be heard. The words ex exploded. It became difficult to discern. I, yeah, I can barely make out any of that. Uh, this, this is, this world is falling apart. How can a world... Something. I implore you, most, most important thing. What? <laughs> Uh, please tell me I'm right. Oh, thank you. The light was complete. The memories disappeared. The tree's identity began to dissolve. As the letters slowly faded, a shyless was drawn back to the real world, and the tree was satisfied. Thank God. And now that I know that those parts are can be messed up or in some way random, boy, I do not like to do these. <laughs> I never realized that shades were capable of rational thought. I don't care if they can tap dance and play the fiddle. Can I can I just kill something without all this voodoo nonsense? See, I like the father. He gets me. We are, we're on the same level. We don't want to go through bullshit. <laughs> With the tree defeated, we no longer have to worry about being being buried being buried in this world of letters, unless of course time itself begins to rewind. Hmm. And we get to all that just for the just for the memory key, memory tree key. Oh boy. Well, what's next? Check to see if the the letters arrive from the younger brother, or goes to Coppola. Uh, well, I mean, if it's giving me the option, we can head back to the junk heap. So, I mean, like, with with all of that, you know, you, you know, in all honesty, with, with all that uh, skipping that I had to do to try and figure out which, you know, which, uh, the answer to the first one, pretty much. Because the other two answers, I had no problem with, thankfully and luckily enough. I had no problem with the other two answers. It was the first one that, you know, I wasn't really 100% sure with. And that's not going to do anything for me. Okay, there we go. I do have to kind of, I do still have to be, yeah, yeah. I just have to be very careful when it comes to this. And I'm not going to be able to, you know what, screw it. Just, just, just roll. Just roll away. Um, I won't be able to bother with uh, with getting the boar back. But wait, so wait, wait. If I'm supposed to be going, oh, okay, okay. I thought it was. I thought I. I said I was going to be going to see the uh, to see the to see the the brother. But I guess it's telling me to go back to the village. Okay. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Because oh, we have to. Okay, we're heading back to back to our house. Oh wait. Hey. We have a letter it would seem. Oh, okay, that's why he was going to, he was going to give us a, a letter. This is to inform you that the upgrade work on your weapon has been completed. The weapon is ready and available for pickup at your earliest convenience. I also have more personal requests to make of you. One I hope we can discuss further once you arrive to pick up the weapon. A new request, is it? Kids pretty this the kid's been pretty good to us. We might as well see what he wants. Off to the junk heap, then. Hmm. 
All right. So I guess we had to, for some reason, pick up the letter at our house just to head all the way back to the junk heap when we could have just gone to the junk heap in the first place. Okay. Like, I'm not purposely trying to find problems with, with, with the game. I, I'm really not, so, you know, if it feels like I'm, like, kind of nitpicking. Oh, please run away. Please run away. Thank you. Um, yeah, so if, 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 if it feels like I'm... Okay, that's, that's weird. Uh, if it feels like I'm nitpicking, I apologize because I, I don't mean it to uh, sound nitpicky. But something like that just didn't make much sense to me. We could have gone to them, instead we had to pick up a, pick up a letter to then go back to the junk heap when we could have gone there in the first place. You know, that to me that doesn't make sense. Something appears to be amiss with these creatures. Yeah, they're shades. That is not what I meant. I kinda almost wish that there was a way to you think about it while I kill it. The way to... Well, we could, I could have fast-traveled, but... At least I'm guessing that's what the... the well, the triangle there I know is a fast-travel point, but... I guess I could have gotten up here... Maybe a little bit quicker. Alright, so what he wants? Hey there. Your weapon is ready to go. Great. Thanks. Two-handed sword, iron will. You know, with a weapon like that... You were going to say? I need to ask you for a favor. Oh, yeah? I want you to avenge my brother. Oh, that's a rather ponderous favor. It's my mission. It's why I've been creating these weapons for the past four years. I don't care about money. I only care about making a weapon strong enough to kill those bastards. What bastards? The ones in the mountain. That little shade and his robot. There are shades here? Your brother was killed by a shade? Yes. <sighs> and what have we decided, hmm? It's killing time. Okay, buddy, I kind of have a thing to tell you. Um, I don't think it was a shade that killed your brother. I think you killed your brother. Just, I'm just pointing that out there. Because you did run off like a little, you know, idiot kid. And then a bunch of stuff collapsed. And then your brother just happened to be there. Got collapsed by some, by a ton of junk. And then, you know, that was sad and all. But I'm just going to go on a limb and say it was not a shade. You just want to put a blame on somebody else. Uh, so is there any way... Very specific way, place I need to go to. Um, basement floor two, maybe. So I think it was, I think it was basement floor one where we need to get the memory alloy. Well, I guess I'll. Uh, Feed the robot that killed the brother. So. Oh, wow. Okay, now that is extra slow. Oh, God, no. <laughs> They're already attacking us. Uh, let's just stay behind the box. Um. Yeah, that that's... That's really heavy. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick with... Stick with that. Um... Yeah, so that's the thing. So am I supposed to head up to the main... To the square there? Or am I supposed to go to the first... Uh, to the basement floor one? Because it doesn't... It, it doesn't specify... Let me just... You know, let me just check. But it doesn't it doesn't really specify where 
on which spot I'm supposed to go. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna guess it's not here because majority of majority of basement floor one is uh, that minecart section. So I'm just going to assume right right from there the the boss is not in this area. Okay, so it definitely is. It definitely is in this area. I know that now for sure. That's why, okay, so I need to... Wait, is that just for... Yeah, that's just for a shortcut. Uh, I really need to do that. Um... Yeah, that's the way back. I shouldn't have to do that either. Wait. Oh, yeah, what am I thinking? Um... I do need to go up here. Yes. Okay. So good thing is they always. So it's good thing they always put bombs here. Ooh, good. So if I am right, the boss should be in the main, the big square, the big square there. I could be wrong. <laughs> nice job killing yourself, dude. Take care of these guys one by one. No. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully I am correct, and the boss should be in this area. Could be a huge waste of time. Which chances are it probably is. Oh, never mind. Okay, here he is. Go keep on spamming. Keep on spamming the fist. Not from that range. And there we go. But now was that actually the boss? And then we can just leave now. I guess now that's my question. No, defeat the robot that killed the brother. That's still my objective. There's nothing, nothing more? Okay, guess not. So, it's not in that room. 
So where... Wait, is there a bomb? I just... Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go now. Since I now do know that that section there is uh, not the best way. Oh no, stay open, stay open. There we go. Okay, so that's not the right, that's not the correct way. Um, the only other thing I could think of is if maybe it's in one of these other side rooms. See, this would help out a lot more, and without without forcing me to basically run around aimlessly, is to you know tell me where to go. Not saying I always need, you know, something to tell, some, you know, the game to tell me to where to go every single, you know, second. But at least with something like this, so it doesn't feel like I'm wasting my time. You know, just some, a little tidbit of, like, hey, go to this spot and just put a big giant X. You know, I did, I just been doing the entire rest of the game. So... That's the that's the tricky part. I'm I don't know where I'm supposed to go. So I'll try this out. And if this part's if this part does actually seem to take way longer than necessary, and I'm only and I'm only thinking of doing this just for the sake of uh, getting the 15 hours, even though I even though I have been told that I, I'm on a good pace to get it. And, you know, as long as I just do story stuff, I can get out of the way for sure. Um, but I'm most not thinking, you know, just for the sake of doing that, I really want to make sure I get it with a decent, decent time. So if this takes way longer than... If I feel like this, this takes way longer than it should to find this boss, because, you know, the game doesn't want to tell me where the boss is, then... I'm actually going to just restart everything and just to and just go, you know, just restart everything because I, I know I can do all this faster because I now know what to do. But again, that's only if this if if none of this works and if this takes, you know, forever. I mean, right now we're up to. I mean, right now I'm up to. 33 minutes, so it kind of does depend. It kind of does depend on where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, okay, there is actually more down here. Oh, okay, we're already starting off with the boss or this mini mini boss fight. Oh boy. Okay, so I can't do this too... I can't do that move too quick. Okay, see, that's the thing. I didn't know that, th that this was... This actually probably seems like this is supposed to be the place where I'm supposed to go. But again, I could not have known this because the game didn't tell me this. And yeah, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just. It, it would have helped out a lot more if if it actually told me. Here's an X. Go here. And I'm getting my ass handed right now. All right. So there. So now that I know there is actually more stuff here. It's probably just straight on then. If I had to guess, it's probably just straight on. But that pathway is now blocked. So I need to find I 
I need to find a bomb, uh, bomb dropper. Okay, why can't I move the camera? Why am I shut in? Oh. Oh, that's why it was... Okay, so I was shut in there, but yet I wasn't. Okay. So, yeah, I, I, I really have no idea how much time I was actually spending trying to find this area when I really think this is the area I'm supposed to go to. Them. There we go. So now, there should be... There should be a bomb drops. Yeah, see, I can't move the camera more down. It seems we've been shut in. Okay. That's strange. It told me that before, and yet nothing happened. Why won't you die? <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's bombs. Nope. Door's not gonna open. Oh, okay. There's still enemies. That's why. Here we go. Run, run, run. Ooh. And they do not... They do not give you enough time with those. Kind of stressful. Okay, so if I had to guess, this is probably going to be it. So I'm, yeah, 37 minutes. I'm going to end it off here just to be safe and. Also, just be safe, heal myself up a bit. So, um, if this is the right area, because again, I do not know for, for sure. But if this is the right area, then great. Um, yeah, so, uh, for Father, Yona, Kane, and Emil, uh, we will see you all next time.